Hey everybody, what's going on? Hello, how's it going? Is, did everybody have a great, for those of you who had one, was it a good three day weekend? I, I don't know, you guys, it, it was, yeah, it was great, it was fun, it was fine. Um, so today I opened the, that other giant Timu box. If you look at that picture in my community feed, you'll see like two gigantic boxes. Well, I opened that box and I did a video unboxing it and I'm going to turn down my phone. And, um, where is my phone? I, and the video was about an hour long. It got a little tedious at times though, meaning the actual, like the video itself. I just, I, I, I was just tedious in it. And I slipped up in that video and I accidentally used the word spaz. I said, oops, I didn't mean to just spaz out over that. And I realize that that word is not acceptable anymore in today's society. And I, everybody knows that I've, well, not everybody, but most of you, a lot of you know that I've got a niece who is very physically and mentally disabled. And I would never intentionally use an ableist term that would demean her in any way. It was just an accident. And I had this vision of if like, if I upload that video, like my comments are going to blow up with everybody telling me what a horrible person I am for using that word. And I tried to edit it out. So I, so then I got in all these editing programs and I couldn't figure out, you guys, this made me feel like a boomer and a half. I couldn't, I can't figure out how to just edit out that one tiny part. And I can, I can cut it right there at the end, but I can't just cut out that part. I'm just not smart enough to figure it out. I can't figure it out in iMovie, and I can't figure it out um, just here I, on this basic, uh, what I'm using right now, program to record this, the camera program. So I don't know if I'm going to upload that second big box unboxing because I can't get that word out of there. I know it's going to offend some people and I can pin an apology in the comments, but some people might not read it and it's just blah, blah, blah. Like it was just, it was bad. But some of the things I got in that box <laughs> were this, for instance, this big pink and blue cardigan, which I uh, was I must have been just, maybe it was just after I saw the Barbie movie or something that I ordered all this pink stuff. That was one thing that was in the box and just a bunch of other stuff. I feel bummed. I could try to do it over, but I've already thrown away the box. And But the good news is I've got another, the good news, I've got another TV haul right here. So now that I've apologized for something you guys didn't even see me do, um, let's get started with this bag. I just cut it open. I have the order in front of me. Hopefully this will go smoothly. I will try not to run my mouth and say anything offensive. Okay, the, but the first thing in here is a questionable sweater. I don't know what my deal with this color is these days. Just buying all like the shade of ham. Oh my gosh, it is so tiny. Wait a minute. Where's the bottom of it? Is it cropped? It's totally cropped. Oh no. Okay, for I am for real. Okay, other it looks like a bird, doesn't it? It looks like feathers. Like I would look like a bird woman in this. Maybe when I put it on, it stops right at my waist, but I still think I would look like some kind of a sad mocha colored bird. A ham, a ham bird. 
Ham, I hate ham so much, you guys. I can't. I can't do... If I even look at ham, I start to gag. Like, oh my gosh, I, I don't... I can't even tell you guys how much I hate ham. It's squeaky, too, in your mouth. Oh, my gosh, it's bad. I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't mind the color, though, but this, it does not. It says solid mock neck pullover sweater, $12.59, and right now it is $12.59. It doesn't say anything about being cropped. It comes up to like that, I guess, on the mo So maybe it'll come up like that on me and everyone can just see, like in the main picture, you can't even tell. I don't know, I'll try it on and we'll see what it looks like. But it looks like my belly would be hanging out of the bottom. I was like, where's the bottom of it? All right, so so much for my fall wardrobe is off to kind of a rocky start. I'm wearing this pink fuzzy thing that I got and I really love it. I'm still, I've still got the chills. I don't know what, somebody told me to take another test again, but I don't, we don't have any more and I didn't feel like getting it. Okay. These are sunglasses, I guess, because there is a sunglass case. And these were $4.47, and they are still $4.47. And I just got out of the shower. I didn't put any volumizing product in my hair or anything because I put a bond strengthening or repairing treatment in it. And I didn't want to, like, put a bunch of gunk in my hair tonight. That's why it's a little flat. All right, these sunglasses are fabulous. Please let them be in one piece. Wow, yeah. Cheese for the thumbnail, everybody. Woo! <laughs> All right, I like the bling. Hey. Okay, she, oh, the sign is not on. Sorry about that. Hello. Okay, shh, quiet, my mom's asleep. Okay, um, cheese, all right. For four bucks, those are a lot of fun. In fact, I'm gonna, Put them up like that. Oh, and they look cute on top of your head, too. You know, I look blingy. I look like I'm ready for a yacht party. Come on. Okay, so there's that. Well, now I can't see anything. Okay, four bucks, four dollars and forty-seven cents. And then next in here. <gasps> oh Lord, it's a bag. Is it brown? I got it in black. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute before I have a cow. No pun intended. Let me just look at it. Shh. Okay, let's take it out in pieces. There's a little pouch right here. There is a matching crossbody bag. Wow, that's crinkly. It's buttery, buttery. Looks buttery to me. Crossbody, okay. Nice. Here. Hold on, we're not done. It's part of an exciting set. Okay, that's enough groping the purse. Okay, and then the next, the final, the grand finale. It's a cow print purse. Now listen, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea or milk. 
but you guys know I love cow print stuff for some weird reason, and yeah, right on. I want to use this tomorrow. What's it doing inside? I don't even care what's going on inside, but it comes with, it's a set of three, you guys, so it comes with this little, let me get everything. Okay, here's the, here's a strap, and is that the only strap? No, and then here's a longer strap, so it's got a top handle, and then it's got a longer strap, and it is not fur, it is textured to look like fur, but it's not, it's plastic fur. The back is not cow print, it does have a zippered pocket on the back, it does not have feet. If it would have had feet, man, I would have just been over the moon. Over the moon. Get it? Do you see what I did there? Okay, it's got some slip pockets here, as do most purses. It's got a medium compartment that is, is attached to the bottom and zippered. And then it's got another compartment. So it's got three compartments if you count the middle one that's zippered too so can i am i showing it properly one this is two this is a whole bag right here this is three then it's got a zippered pouch on the inside right on man it's got one on the back like i said and then it comes with this matching crossbody and this little matching pouch which is a good deal you guys how much did i pay for that i paid 24.48 and it is still there and you can get it in brown too if you don't like the whole black and white thing stop it don't show everybody what's on my phone what am i even doing on this phone um or you can get it in a leopard print if you don't like cow print, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm excited about that. This is turning out to be a really fun haul, much better than my last haul that I'm probably never going to upload because it's offensive. Unless I upload it and say this Timu haul will probably offend you, I am so sorry. And then pin an apology at the top. Should I do that? Still gonna tick people off and lose subscribers. It's, it was also really boring. I was trying to watch the replay. In fact, that's where I caught it on the replay. And, but besides that, I was kind of like dozing off watching myself. Just going, oh, so boring. So boring. This is another bag. Now that's it. Uh, it's got a bow on it. And it's a brown. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ew, it looks cheap and bad. It's got a... What is happening in here? It's got a little flimsy strap that might as well be made of paper. And... Uh-uh, man. Isn't there an option for... Um, if you return something to Timu, is there an option to just say, I hate this thing? Does not look like picture? Not the purse of my dreams? Forget it? Bow decor tote bag for women. It was $7.47. And in my defense... Look how cute the picture looks, though. I don't know. It just, it looked cuter in the picture. In real life, it looks like it cost $7.47. We're going to donate that one. Yeah, I'm reaching way up here because there is now a pile of stuff from the last offensive haul that I'm probably not going to upload, which was that huge Timu box. I feel bummed. What a waste of a gigantic box of Timu stuff to then slip up like that in a haul video and not even be able to upload it. It's not like I can afford to, never mind, I'm going to be quiet. But really though, you know, like I was, um, this one came today that I'm doing right now. Like, right when I had my head in my hands, too, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just wasted that whole Timu box of stuff. I can't edit this because I'm not 
bright. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to find my scissors, by the way, in case you're like, what are you doing? Um, I was just sitting here thinking, what is, you know, what is the matter with me and all of this stuff? And that really stinks. And then all of a sudden I heard someone at the door and lo and behold, it was another Timu order. I don't have very many after this. I say that every time. Now these are big gumball machine. They really are. That's their plastic. I'm engaged. Leave me. Oh, help. Uh-oh, don't freak out. Okay. Oh, I hate it when rings get caught on my finger. Okay, I'm engaged. Leave me alone. Look at that. Now, there are more. There's a whole bag of them. Put them on every single finger. Here's another one. I'm just going to... Um, how many are there for crying out loud? Here's a square one. I like this one better for the I'm engaged. Leave me alone. I'm engaged. Leave me alone. I'm engaged. All right. If you're new to my channel, hi. Welcome to my channel. We got off to a great start, didn't we? Um, I'm engaged, leave me alone, was a joke I made one day about how I wanted to get a fake engagement ring so men would stop hitting on me in the clubs. Now, that was a joke on a bunch of different levels because men don't ever hit on me and I'm definitely not in the clubs and just whatever. It was a stupid joke, I don't know, but then it turned into a whole I'm engaged, leave me alone spiel stick all right i don't know what i don't you guys i don't Woo! look at that long spiky one there are more how many are in this thing one two three four five six seven i'm engaged leave me alone let me fix this one so it fits and then this could be a thumbnail with my glasses on too wait i can't fix this. I can squish it. What is the cat playing with? The mouse? Okay. As long as it's not a roach. Okay, let me put these down. Okay. Oh, oops. God, it's yanking out on my hair. Cheese! Bitches! Just joking. I didn't mean to say bitches. She, I'm just really offensive in all kinds of ways today. Cheese, this is my thumbnail. Yeah. Okay. What in the world? So, I don't, you know, I don't know. I must have just thought those were a hoot. So, I got them. They really are plastic, like as plastic as you can get. Oh, I forgot to take my sunglasses off. That's silly of me. All right, those, oops, did I just rip a thumbnail? Where's my fingernail glue? These fingernails have already come off like three times today. They're not going to make it till tomorrow. 277, and they are now, oh, no, that's the wrong one. Those are... Okay, $3.14. Exaggerated ring set. Can you hear my stomach growling? I'm sorry. We're hungry. We have no food in this house, and I need to go out and get some. And uh, we called Kroger to come deliver it. And Kroger just called and said they had no electricity or something, so they couldn't come deliver it. Something it sounded like a really cheesy excuse to me. It sounded like they just didn't have enough people working. So now there's no food in the house except for one loaf of bread. I'm not even making that up. I just made my, and some peanut butter. I just made myself some peanut butter toast. And my mom said she doesn't want anything. She, my mom never eats. Okay, well, I don't know what this is. It says, oh, it says honey and pumpkin. And it is a lip balm set. It's really cute. 
Here, hold it up. Why am I so far away from you guys? I just brushed my teeth, too. I don't have anything to be afraid of. I have minty fresh breath. I don't know why I'm all leaning way back here going, hey, everybody, look at this. Okay, get this off. Honey and pumpkin. Then if I upload that other haul and put, I'm sorry if this Timu haul offends you is the title, then people are going to click on it even more. And it really is going to probably offend a lot of people. Didn't Lizzo just get in big trouble for using the word spaz? Um, okay, so, and it comes with two little, um, here, it's really cute the way it's packaged. You guys, lean forward. Stop being such a stranger. And it comes with these two little appliers that I'm trying to get out. They're stuck. I may have to ruin the cute packaging just to get... So it comes with these little things, little tiny honey drippers to put them on. And one, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, is for daytime, and one is a sleeping mask, although I'm sure they're both the exact same. What, oh, these are not my glasses. <laughs> where, are my, where are my reading glasses? Um, one is honey and one is pumpkin. So this one is moisturizing a nourishing pumpkin lip mask and this one is nourishing and moisturizing honey lip mask okay I, I think they're cute I really just got them for the Halloween factor I thought it I mean it appealed to me and I will try my best to link to this order in the description below if Timu will let me, I paid $4.94 and they are still $4.94. And here you go. I don't know why I always feel the need to show you the picture on the site. It says Honey, pump, honey and Pumpkin Day and Night Lip Mask. All right. I mean, it's just a gimmick, but... It is infused with honey and pumpkin for nourishing and moisturizing benefits. And somebody who reviewed it said, cute little set, pretty much bought it just for the jars. That's like me too. I don't think I will trust putting it on my lips, honestly. Oh, well, did anybody put it on? Smells and works amazing, is what somebody else said. There's my stomach growling so loud. What else do we have to eat downstairs? We have just more bread and gosh, I think I have one, a few tortillas and maybe a can of refried beans. Okay, the next thing in here is Rosino. Is this by Rosino too? No, this is by, I'm just all ready for the holidays, you guys. I'm ready for Halloween. Moisturizing hand cream set. And this is really cute too. I can't stop, I gotta keep talking or everyone will hear my stomach growling really loudly, loudly. Now, Alexa, every day you tell me it's supposed to rain, and every day you lie. Oops. Okay. When you, when I cough, Alexa says, Aaron, drink some water. Let me see if I can get him to do it. Here. Cough, 
Well, he's not doing it now. I promise you, I'm not making that up. He really does do that. I'm not just saying that. Now I feel stupid. <clears throat> no, he's, he's just not going to do it. Okay, inside there are four, I'm sorry, there are four Halloween themed hand creams. Well, the, no, they all smell the same, but this one has got um, some bats on it and some ghosts in a graveyard. And this one has got a jack-o'-lantern on it. And this one has got, how many are in here? Five? That's enough hand cream to last a year. This one has got a jack-o'-lantern and a black cat on it. And get out of the glare and happy Halloween. This one has got, I can't see that. Is it a tree with, a tr oh, a haunted house, okay. And then this one has a witch's hat and a, a pumpkin patch with jack-o'-lanterns and bats and crows and all of that stuff. Okay, that's cute. These are cute. What do they smell like? Oh, no, they have these little, well, good. I mean, it's good that they have these sanitary seals on, but not for my fingernails. Everybody stand back. I just want to know what it smells like. Ew, it's kind of jelly. It's like jelly jelly. It's not like cream. It's more like consistency of like hardcore like water base. And it just smells like hand cream. I don't really know how to... It doesn't have a distinct smell like a pumpkin smell or anything like that. It just smells like hand cream. Lightly scented hand cream. But I mainly just got it because I like the themes and I like the box. And my hand is really shiny now. If you want soft looking shiny hands, there you go. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this hand cream. It's not like I'm a dude. Okay, that was raunchy. I'm sorry if you got that joke. That was $4.94, and it is sold out. I wouldn't have talked about it for so long if I would have known. I put notify me, you guys. If you really want the Halloween hand cream, let me know, and I will put it in my community feed when it does come back. Okay. What do we have next? We have some blingy toenails that you glue on. Look at the big toe, you guys. Isn't that fabulous? So the big toe is the middle one. At least it is in the pit. In the picture, they all look like that. No, in the picture, the middle, it's just the middle one and the rest are metallic. Now, those would probably stay on my toes about two seconds, but they are $2.97. And what did I pay for them? I paid $2.77 for them. So they've gone up in price a little bit. What a shock. Okay, what's next? Some more fingernails, and I don't know what I was thinking because these are way too long for me. They're just too long for me. There's no way. And they've got little flowers growing at the bottom. I think, are those the tips or are those the bottom of the... Oh, never mind. I thought these were, the... I thought these were tips right here, and I was thinking, nope, can't do it. Maybe I can pull it off with that length. I have to have really short ones because I type... And I can't do it with long nails. I don't know why I like those. I just like them. They are square blue rose. And I paid $1.98. And they are now sold out. Gosh, Timu. We're striking out with this order. Okay, the next thing in here I think is the last thing. No, there's one more thing in here. And you guys saw it yesterday and I'm not going to open it. It's that same necklace that I said I accidentally bought twice and it's got 
the moons and the stars hanging down from it. Back here, I put it in my jewelry box. I got really, uh, and then I want to talk to you about what I'm probably going to start doing on this channel when I'm not hauling things or testing products. That necklace I will put in my 7,000 subscriber giveaway box. And it is a, just a, right here comes the little baby. It's a version of, and he's going to step on this thing. It's a version, it's a version of this with, um, with stars and stuff. And there's Loki with his missing ear tip. Okay. Loki, hi. And he's purring the whole time. Do you see how he's uh, set for destruction, but he's purring? Like he purrs so loudly when he's destroying things or scratching or biting or whatever. He's still purring. He's a happy little boy, but he likes to wreck things. Okay, that necklace is... Okay, can you lay down? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little kitty. Okay, that necklace is... I like him a lot when he's asleep. A dollar eighty eight. Do you hear him? Cover up the sound of my growling stomach. Okay, the last thing that's in this box. No, no. Where's your mouse? Go find me a mouse, please. Look at him climb the mountain of Timu from my last haul that will never be uploaded. Okay, the next thing in here is careful of these glasses. Those are kind of a big deal. Look at the last thing in here. I am going to have a fun time with the fence that's around my, oh, my bird bath. I had this blue ceramic tall bird bath and it got blown down in a storm the other night and completely smashed. I was about to say, because it's right in the corner of our backyard where there's a wooden fence and then my bird bath is there and I was going to hang these things all around on the fence along with some of my other stuff to hang outside. Look how beautiful this is. And I don't have a bird bath now. It's really sad. My dad, that was the last present my dad gave me before he died um, five years ago. He gave it to me for my birthday and it meant a lot to me and it's smashed to pieces now. So with you get all three, so I'm about to show you three. For $13.49, you get three. You get the sun, which is really beautiful. Cheese. Put the phone down. Hello. Now I feel sad thinking about my dad. I can't smile. Smile. I don't know. There's the sun. There is, what did I pay for it? Probably, I paid $14.90. Eight, yeah, I was just about to say probably fifteen dollars. I did get a price adjustment. There's this star, star, you're a star, and then there is this really beautiful. Moon, I really love these. They're gorgeous. Lean forward. Why am I always so lean back? Lean back. Hello. Cheese. It's the moon. Do you hear that flop? That's my cat flopping. All right. So those three, and that is it. How much did I pay for that entire order? The thing that's questionable the most are, well, the bird sweater. The total of that order is $71.53. Um, okay, so we're going to say my favorite thing in here. It's a draw between... Oh gosh, it's hard to pick because it's either these or it is the sunglasses. <gasps> oh, or it's the cow print purse. Or it's... I really love these little... 
honey and pumpkin things. Oh, I didn't even put one on. I didn't even put it on. Let me see if it's gooey or if it's... Do I have to... What is this one? Where's the pumpkin one? That's the one I want to try. It smells like plastic to me. I don't know. It, it just smells like plastic to me. I can't dip my finger in it because putting it on this little honey dipper, dripper. It does not smell like pumpkin, but it doesn't smell bad. Let me see what the other one, let me see if the other one smells the same. I'm sorry, I'm a bad hauler. Bad hauler. You know what? That should be what my channel's name is. Bad hauler. I don't know. I can't. I need to smell some coffee in between or something to get my palate cleansed or whatever. My nose and my... It smells the same, but the jars are cute. Hold on a minute, y'all, while I put a little lip, um, lip balm on. I was imagining myself standing around people taking out cute things and having them go, hey, where'd you get that? And going, let me tell you about Timu. And while we're at it, let's download it to your phone right now using my app. I'll get $5 and you'll get a great code that'll give you 50% off if you're a first time user. So to that point, that is down in my description below. If you still haven't, if you still haven't taken that first step into paradise and ordered anything from Timu yet, I don't know what, we miss you on the flip side. Come on over and join our party. Use my link. Okay. That's it. Okay, that's it. 37 minutes. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. I love and appreciate all of you so much. And it is... I'm sorry, but I have to ask. What time is it, Alexa? Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.40 p.m. Ooh, the day is almost over in a minute. It's going to be time to go to sleep and wake up and go to work. Ugh. All right, at least it's a short week. There's that. I hope you're having a pleasant evening, morning, or afternoon whenever you're watching this. And I will see you. I still need to do some infomercials. I got to do those. Then I have a that hour-long Timu haul that maybe now that I've apologized for, I will upload that. That was that giant box. It's really boring, though. Like, if I were you, I would put that haul on and then go to sleep. Because it that haul is a really good thing to listen to while you fall asleep. Because it's so... It's just... I don't know. My energy level was just blah in that thing. Okay. Bye, everybody. How do we stop this thing anyway?